All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Mashoku Tensai season two, episode nine. Uh, apologies for the last episode not being on the channel. Um, I was away for a few days, starting Saturday, and then by the time I came back, I just didn't really want to react to the episode. Um, but I did watch it, and it was a very good episode. It was very funny. Um, starting off, we have Cliff and Elena Lee's are now in a relationship. That's interesting. My guy won her over considering that she before that didn't want to get in relationship didn't want to stick to one guy so yeah that's funny um shout out cliff <laughs> mvp for real uh and he's obviously trying to break her curse as well i don't know that's how that's gonna go but we'll see and then we met a demon king by the name of bodyguardy which sounds like bodyguard is that what that's supposed to be um he he seems very funny very la laugh laughable cheery he's the Beyonce of the little little child looking demon I can't remember um but yeah that's uh, interesting he got damaged by Rudius although he regenerated real easy and then he slapped the shit out of Rudius as well so yeah and now it seems he's some kind of teacher from I mean he wa waltzed into the classroom with uniform on so he either um, is a student or a teacher so I guess we'll see Overall, very excited for this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, Sylphie's going to get jealous. Oh, look at her. Look, uh, Rudius likes many girls. Oh, no. <laughs> you are not slick, Sylvie. He hasn't forgotten her. He just doesn't know it's Sylvie. Come on, Sylvie. He's like, you're literally the last person he's looking for. You just gotta tell him, man. Of course he knows you. He misses you so much. Seems like summoning. Okay. Interesting. So he's gonna he might actually figure it out. Is she asleep? Oh no, she was just in her own head. Heard their name? Uh, no idea. Oh, the person we haven't met yet. Okay. Inventing uniforms and blackboards. Maybe they're reincarnated. Definitely seems like someone from the other world. That also reminded me, it wasn't the same girl, but there was a girl in the last episode with blue hair that was kind of peering at Rudius. If that wasn't touched on, I suppose it will be soon. Why does she wear a mask as well? Who are you? What? Wait! Is this the girl that was with the dragon god? Oh, shit! I was like, wait, where do, where do I know that mask from? And then his reaction. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised with that reaction. Isn't she the one that, like... Helped him stay alive, though? Oh, shit. I mean, fair. Very realistic response to seeing one of the people that almost killed you. Basically did kill you. Oh, Sylphie? Oh, I thought he was uh, on the lap of that girl. Why are they speaking in, in this language? Yeah, boy. Mm, interesting. You just gotta gotta get hella stronger before meeting him again. 
He is so fucking scared. And these are Japanese names. Oh shit, is this his old name? Did we ever learn his old name? Do we know his old name? Wait, so she's looking for people from the other world. That's crazy. Well, is there something special about her face? <gasps> what? Wait, did she die too? This is wild. I mean, yeah, he definitely doesn't look Japanese. <laughs> is it the same girl? Or is it just weird that they happen to have the same face? He doesn't, he probably doesn't want to go by his previous name. It's not him anymore. I still, I cannot remember if they ever said his uh, previous name or not. They must have. Maybe. Why, why, why would he want to go back? The she, she wants to go back, apparently. I also can't remember if Sylphie knows about this, that he's reincarnated. Oh yeah, she can't speak Japanese. I guess it's for the audience that they're just constantly speaking in Japanese then. Oh, this is sad. Sylvie doesn't even know what they're saying, and he, she can just see that he's distraught. So wait, did she just get sent here, or did she die and then reborn as a baby like Rudius? They both got hit by truck gun? Crazy. This must be frustrating for Sylvie. Personal grudge. If I remember correctly, Dragon God, there was like a ranking or something like that. Dragon God, was Dragon God number two? I think, I can't remember. Damn. They found the One Piece? Teleportation? Fair enough. Who? Oomst. Hmm. Wait, so I, do, I still don't get if she like spawned in as a child or she spawned in at, at her age. I'm so curious. The mysteries continue, man. Yeah, for real. Imagine learning all this magic and shit, and then still wanting to go back to the, own the old world, where presumably you won't be able to do any of this. He's got a shit ton. Okay, so she wasn't, yeah, she definitely wasn't reincarnated. She was teleported here. But she still got hit by a truck gun. Interesting. I'd have thought, like, it's like a soul where mana would leave, um, leave you when you die. What the fuck? That's so weird. There's so many questions now, man. Well, he's definitely calmed down. I could see that, to be fair. Yeah, she has friends and family. I'm sure there's, that's fair enough for her to want to go back. She also doesn't have mana. She doesn't age. Yeah, it's probably better for her to go back. But Rudius, this is his life. Rudius, this is a good life for Rudius. No. Literally, no. Well, he got hit by a truck. But, uh, yeah, no regrets. And Sylvie's still sitting in the back, not knowing what the hell they're saying. Mm. 
Okay, fair enough, yeah. Or maybe she can understand them. Wait, am I am I dumb? <laughs> oh, Sylvie. And oh, maybe she doesn't understand them. Yeah, just when he said that, her, her facial expression changed, so I thought she could understand. Okay, so they're speaking language now, but it's just Japanese for us. Got it. The backlash from what? Oh, the backlash from her coming here. Fuck. Well, makes sense. Selfie looks pissed. But it's not her fault. Someone brought her here. Oh my god. Oh, that's why she put the rings on. She, uh... But it wasn't her fault. Someone brought her here. I get it, though. She's very pissed. Understandable. Oh, yeah, she was talking in the Japanese, wasn't she? Yeah, okay. My bad. My bad and Sylphie bad. Fair enough, Sylphie. Did she, like, did her parents die? Or did they just get sent somewhere and she'll never find them again? I'm a, I'm a guess die, because not everybody was lucky with the mass teleportation location. Very possibly, Orsted. Literally a godsend. Alright, so he's a step closer to understanding the mass, mass teleportation then. I hope we can trust this girl. I feel really bad for Sylvie. Completely left out of that conversation and then th that was brought upon her. Also, how has not Rudius figured this out yet? It's fucking Sylvie, dude. Yeah. Sylphie, please tell Rudius your name. Come on. Please. Oh my god. Right, so that was Mashoka Tensai, Season 2, Episode 9. Another very good episode. Well, I, I kind of wanted more um, time with Bodyguarder. Bodyguardy. Um, in this episode because they like introduced him as like a teacher or a student or something like that in the last episode and then didn't touch on him once. Is that kind of? Um, but uh, yeah. Um, wow. So this silent girl is Japanese. She was not reincarnated. She was teleported here. The trigger for the teleportation was somehow still being hit by a bus though. So I don't know. I don't know how that worked. Maybe her friends died too. Who knows? Or got teleported. Um, yeah, very interesting that obviously she didn't cause the teleportation. Well, kind of. Her coming into existence in this world through teleportation probably like sent the the world into a bit of whack, and that's why that happened. Like the sort disrupted the timeline or space time, whatever. But like someone brought her here, and it wasn't her fault. Possibly the dragon god. Um, but that might be too obvious. I don't know. Uh, yeah, overall though, very good episode, she seems interesting, I suppose we can trust her for now. Still frustrating that Sylphie doesn't tell Rudius, but I get why. But she just, she's way too in her head. She, like, the, the, I say Rudius can't put two and two together, but she can also can't put two and two, two together, because he's looking for her, and he said he's looking for his friend before, right? But um, yeah, overall, very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.